It is Therapy Thursday, a day where we answer your questions with the help of our friend, Dr. Brenda Lloyd-Jones from the University of Oklahoma. Brenda, always great to see you. Good to see you. We have two great questions uh, lined up here for you today. We start with Alice. Alice wrote in over the past week saying, I'm a widow and finally ready to start dating again, but she does not want to get engaged in those online dating apps. So she wants to know, how do I get the confidence to get back out there? It is not easy going up to somebody especially if you're attracted to them and spark a conversation. How do, what, what advice do you have for Alice? Well, I have a couple of suggestions for Alice. Uh, first and foremost, release any guilty feelings. Often, according to research, widows have, feel a sense of guilt uh, because of their desire to get back to the dating scene. So she wants to release that and remember that she is single now and that she has the right to enjoy the rest of her life the way she wishes. Secondly, uh, she really wants to spread the word. Get the word out that she's <laughs> ready to date now. Now, researchers suggest telling first your secondary social group uh, rather than close friends and family who are part of your primary social group. So social groups, who would that be? Uh, that could be your game and uh, certainly book club, or it could be your sports club. It could even be your work community. Tell these folks first because they may introduce you to their own family members or friends. Now, eventually you will talk to your uh, family as well as uh, your close friends to let them in on the game. Now I want Alice to fall in love with her Euchre partner. <laughs> <laughs> and it could happen. It could happen. Yeah, start spreading the word. All yes. right. Christian says, I have a close friend who just lost a family member. Uh, this is how we met Brenda. We talked about bereavement. That was our very first segment together. Yes, do you remember that? That's true. Uh, so here we go again. How do I let someone know uh, that I'm there for them, especially a close friend, without being too overbearing? This can be really tough and really challenging. Yes. Uh, first and foremost, become familiar with the stages of grief. Um, the researchers have found that five are particularly important, and that is denial, anger, bargaining, uh, as well as depression and acceptance. Those uh, particular emotions will help you communicate better with your friend as well as give you language to ask what best might I do to support you. Secondly, I call actional support and that means that you simply um, order and deliver nutritious meals, uh, offer to babysit or give child care, even walk the dog, and then Finally, think of things like, can I do laundry? Can I do some chores to help out during this time? Here's the heart of the matter. You don't want to be the friend who is silent and behaves as if nothing has happened. Take a little time, do some online research to learn the language, the communication that will communicate uh, or convey uh, a sense of care and comfort. Great advice as always. Good stuff today, Brenda. And if you are watching right now, you have a question that you'd like for us to talk about next Thursday. You can send in your question just like Alice did and just like uh, Christian did. You can send it to therapythursday at griffin.news. Ash?